on a hillside in Upper Ganges. Two figures in a field watch passing by traffic, perhaps a physical representation of the property owners, who for nine years have been sculpting their acreage into a real-life public park and gallery. Celia Duthie and husband Nick moved to Salt Spring Island after closing down a large chain of bookshops across the Lower Mainland. So really, where do you go from books but art? We evolved from a woodwork shop nine years ago where we represented handmade furniture uh, and that developed into a sculpture interest and then we opened up our outdoors and we brought the sculptures outside. And it's really given uh, a number of our artists a scale to work at. They can uh, expand their work to fill a much greater space outdoors. This is a commercial gallery, every piece with a price tag. And at the moment, 30 installations are on display. Celia chooses pieces that are original, robust, and have some sort of connection to the West Coast countryside. We have artists, you know, from here on Salt Spring. We have artists from other islands, like Denman Island, Hornby Island. And we also have a lot of artists from Vancouver. As you walk the wood chip pathways, the work of Michael Dennis keeps an eye on you. This sculptor is from Denman Island works to capture the essence of human gesture from a tree. Very perceptive about human nature too and his figures really have such personality and uh, character and gender and attitude and all sorts of things. They're really alive. Another featured wood artist in the Duthie Gallery is Brent Comba. Based in North Vancouver, he creates cool pieces of furniture and in 2006, he combed his way through Stanley Park after a huge storm, collecting pieces of red cedar in order to make these shattered spheres. He put lights in them, so they're now illuminated shattered spheres. And they're really uh, powerful. People just love them. They look as if they've just arrived from somewhere else. <laughs> Brent also created this large circular piece. You can add it to your backyard collection for $125,000. These are large pieces of very old maple. This is what Brent calls this, is the Nine Sentinels. And he's very anthropomorphic about his work. He truly sees them as uh, elders of the maple clan, you know, leaning in here protectively and telling stories. On a visit, Celia wants you to help shape the story from each piece. Well, the beauty of art, I think, is largely in its complexity, but also uh, in the way we respond to it. You know, we create that beauty. And, and people do have to kind of look a little harder or look a little deeper, I think, for much art. Shaping this story from Salt Spring Island, I'm James Green.